Hello, this is not a spring chicken, as you can tell. Yes, we are in the kitchen cooking and we're getting ready for Thanksgiving, but I guess news still, it does still continue, even with the holiday, because today's Tuesday, even though tomorrow, Wednesday, is the heaviest travel traffic day of the year. It started pretty heavy today, too, for all the people wanting to start just a little bit early. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Camel with comments on the headlines of today. Yeah, this is our actually folks this is another feature film by the you know Monty Bubbles production <laughs> yeah. it is you wouldn't believe it but we actually can turn these things out and Obama blames Republicans for not voting to raise taxes rather than to stop spending I know uh, okay Obama went this morning and got booed at a high school he was told specifically they don't like you in New Hampshire. So basically he went to New Hampshire and then got very, he gave the icy stare to students who basically didn't like him there. Ooh. And then threatened them with the teach with the principal, which basically didn't go over well because I heard the adult, their parents, you know, there was a lot of F you from the parents. Oh really? Which means say that they, they were told not to invite the president because it's, they don't like him in New Hampshire, period. They do not like this man there. But he needs to have votes in New Hampshire. Again, she's got to get, they're going to have, a, they're not going to have a primary fight. They, just, they want him to resign, mm -hmm. flat out. They w flat out want this man and Biden both to resign because the Democrats do not like him. Isn't that something? And they want, the, okay, here's the trick is, if the only way Hillary could step in as president is if Bonyard stepped aside and I'm thinking that there's some sort of negotiation between the Democratic Party and Bonyard that if he will, if, 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 if Obama and Biden resign, that Bonyard will step aside so that Hillary can take over as a Democratic president. Oh. And that he can deal with Hillary where they can't deal with Obama. Yeah, but I don't think I see either of them resigning, are they? Uh, okay, there's a cute little clause in, the, in our law that basically allows you to set down the President of the United States for 30 days for health reasons. During that period, they could have him declared mentally incompetent to run the country and they can already prove that Biden's uh, senile, so. He can be gone, folks. I mean, I know that, that Rex doesn't want to hear that, but the Democratic Party, the leading pollsters say there is no desire in this nation for him to run. They said three years has been more than enough with this man. Well, Obama blames Republicans for not voting to raise taxes rather than to yeah. stop spending. Well, he just did it again. He said, we need a democratically controlled Congress. Well, he's got a democratic, he had a democratic controlled Congress. Republicans, not one of them voted for the Jobs Act. He couldn't get enough people. He couldn't get enough Democrats to vote for his thing to get it out of committee. They voted on these Republicans forced votes on them to embarrass the Democrats because they knew that they, they, they peel off 10 to 13 Democrats that did not. Okay, every, okay, one third of the Senate is up for um, election every two years. This year, 75% of the, of the people that are up for re-election are Democrats. Oh, really? And they expect to lose the Senate this year to the Republicans. Totally expect to lose it. And future cancers from Fukushima plant may remain hidden. Well, I would think so, because you won't, people will not even develop cancer for years to come, and then there'll be the children that'll be born that will end up with something, so. But they also know something in Japan that you can't get through the heads of a lot of people in the United States and, and the people that don't like nuclear energy. They had two nuclear bombs on them, and they were, they were back in those cities in no time. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's not quite as as uh, effective a weapon as they think it is. It causes a lot of damage, but then they just go rebuild in the same area. Anybody remember Hiroshima and Na Nagasaki? Those are huge, god-awful big cities in Japan today. And UN and Obama condemned the Republicans for greenhouse gases. I know, isn't that amazing? They said George Bush and Republicans are, are responsible for the destruction of this world. Um, because only the Democrats believe there is such a thing. Okay, the, it was warmer than this during uh, a time when we didn't have industrial might. They know that it was warmer and then it got colder. And right now we're coming out of the... It's, got, it is, it's always been warmer than what it is now. Mm. But I mean, certainly did man cause problems? Well, God, yes, but one volcano going off basically 
one volcano going kaboom equals all of the industrial load for a year. One volcano. So Really? That's not, I mean... Because it pumps more material into the atmosphere than does all the pollution that mankind can do. And man is not responsible for volcanoes going off. Although, I will bet you, I know i got a couple years, that Barack Obama will blame George Bush the Republicans for volcanic activity in the world. Mm. And U.S. reserves the right to meet cyber attack with force. Not with Obama as president. <laughs> yeah. He'll only attack somebody that he is a that is a Muslim organization that he doesn't particularly like. If it's Muslims that he sides with, they can wipe out our country. Mm -hmm. And Iran ready to help Turkey with nuclear plant aid. Yeah. Their nuclear proliferation, and uh, I know this is a day when he and everybody, including the Democrats, are blaming Obama. They're not blaming Bush; they're blaming Obama because we can talk to these people, we can do one on one, and they're they're reasonable. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you know that Obama cannot talk to these people? How? Because can anybody talk to Obama and reasonably? Oh. And they're just like he is, and he's sucking up to him because he is a mo he's like I am. My fa my family is Indians and Germans and British. I mean, I'm really a mixed up breed. They he is trying to be accepted by the Muslims, and they will never accept a, a mixed breed. They won't do it. He can be a black and a white Muslim, but you can't be a black and a white Christian. Ah, that's right. And Eurozone looks to Italy and Greece moves to ease crisis. Oh, it didn't happen. Uh, uh, they, basically, Spain is going under next. They're all going under one at a time because um, every country that basically went green... Or, okay, Spain was a profitable country until they went green. They lost four jobs for every one job created when they went green. And the green is so expensive that no one can afford it. So therefore, it was a got off a huge disaster. And the country is busted because they tried to be modern. And Apple, with eyes on media, names Disney's Iger to board. I know that's sort of that's strange, right there. Why? Uh, because um, they're totally it's supposed to be at war with one another. Oh. And yet Disney now has one of their uh, has the chairman of the company is now on as the direct he is the director period of Apple, which means he don't know every bloody thing that Apple is doing and can tell Disney, and Disney can sit there and counter move. Mm -hmm. Which means that, okay, every, I've, I've heard it continually that since, um, okay, since Stephen Jobs died, they're totally rudderless over at Apple now. There's nothing oh, really? coming up. Everything they do is a disaster now. Stock is going backwards, and they're a company that basically is in peripherals, ancillary cells, not in new items. So. It could be that Apple is getting ready to merge with the Disney Corporation like Pixar did. Now that would be interesting. Because remember, Pixar was Apple stuff to begin with. Oh, that's true. That's right. Analysis, SEC targets low-level bankers and spares top execs. Uh, because they're all Democrats. Here's the fun thing. Okay, I got. Uh, we're going to have Mad Bull. I going to say, Mad Bull, how many of the most richest people in the country that don't pay their taxes are Democrats? <laughs> You mean almost all of them are dem? How many of the billionaires? <clears throat> I mean all the billionaires? How about the hundred? Uh, uh, how about the guys that are in the hundreds of millions? <clears throat> you, how many Republicans are there that are billionaires? How many of the Republicans are little businessmen? <clears throat> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Who gets the shaft under this president? Uh -huh. Is it the billionaires or is it the little businessman? Yeah. And, Ro and Romney's what? I can uncover his ears again. Oh, okay. And Romney's first TV ad of presidential race attacks Obama. Well, they should be attacking Obama again with folks who, okay, they're destroying one another to get the nomination. Mm -hmm. They said, okay, uh, okay, th this one. Isn't that normal at all? Here, Rex, Rex can keep his ears open on this one. And Rex will simply, okay, what is the chance that Romney is going to get the Republican nomination? It's called when hell freezes over. The Republicans do not like the man. Well, that he stands the best chance of beating Obama because he's more sensible than the other Republicans who are nothing but clowns and fools. That's mm -hmm. what they said yesterday. 
Mm -hmm. And any time, I mean, uh, okay, this I heard even back when I said, any time you hear another party touting this man as being the one person that could beat you, you know that they know that guy is a pushover. Mm -hmm. So you give him Romney care, folks. Romney care. Obama admits that Romney care is the basis for Obamacare. Uh huh. They're never elected. He couldn't get. He's not going to get through the nomination process. You're going to look. They're going to have a floor fight because no one's going to come in with enough electoral enough votes to get the nomination, and then someone is going to pop up that hasn't been running, sort of like that. The the Rubio of Florida, who basically doesn't stand to lose anything. He's, He's in his first term as a favor for the party, and he's on a short list for the nomination the next time. But are you going to kick uh, the rear end of a first-generation American whose parents came over here in a boat? Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble is it for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom? Uh, I, I know something. Okay, this is the unexpected when it happens. 